Ready for some fun? I was expecting more drama. So we started on Cullen Road and then we followed this green track, Lang's View track, currently here. So we go to the Trig, look out, swing bridge, car park. This has been a superb stretch, like beautifully maintained and just come to a sign. Welcome to the conservation block. And it's the start of the alternative Tiararoa Langsview Trail that takes you through the bush rather than down the road. Two kilometres long, same location as going down the road. Forget the road, folks. Let's go down the track. Hell yeah! And I'm sat in a car park. Some gluten-free wrap. One with peanut butter on and banana and the other with Nutella on and banana. Oh, it's so good. Peanut butter, banana, chocolate spread. This is Kat. Hey! Kat hey. has been in New Zealand since when you've been since, Mar since March. Since March. We just bumped into each other at the car park. And Kat's like, where are you staying tonight? I was like, oh, I've emailed somebody, but I haven't heard back. She's like, oh, there's a trail angel. She's got a cabin and it's got like a bed and Wi-Fi. And I was like, oh, how much is it? It's like $10. $10. So I was like, can you send a cheeky message? So Kat <laughs> message. And then basically come back saying, yeah, loads of room for you. So we are now on a mission to get to this cabin. Let's hope nobody is ahead of us. So yeah. We have the best tonight. Oh, thank God, please, please, please. But we don't, I don't think there's going to be people ahead of us. So yeah, we've got, what is it? Seven, no, 11K? Uh, yeah, I think 12 maybe. Oh, maybe. 12, <laughs> I'm like seven, 11. 12 kilometers to get there. Look at these views. This, this is amazing. This is what it's all about. That's the skills I have. Oh, come on, that was oh, so no. elegant. <laughs> We're walking with the sort of the coast on our left hand side and then it's like we're walking through people's gardens because they're literally just houses right here. This is a path. <laughs> we're on a very nice sidewalk. Check out the size of this. Boom. We've got about six kilometers to go and we're talking about where we're staying tonight. It's ten dollars. And like we're getting more and more excited like the wi-fi, the bed, like oh my god we can have a shower it's gonna be so good. And then we were thinking, but it's, it's limited cabin space, it's limited amount of beds. And there might be people ahead of us, so. Yeah, we've worked well. Cats know that there's like, there's a German couple and a few other people who, they stayed at this uh, 4.30, which is like a free campsite last night, 4.30 kilometer on the TA. And so therefore they're gonna be ahead of us. So. So we are a bit stressed now. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like lower expectations. I mean, it's gonna be fine either yeah. way. It's gonna be fine. This is the Trail Angel's house. How cool is that? But there's chickens! Chucks! Right. Stay... Ah! Okay. Okay, I'm coming through a forest. Oh, 
Sorry, chicken. I think I'm meant to come this way. I've arrived. Kat's gone to the supermarket, so I'm not 100% sure what to do because she's the one who's been contacting these amazing people. I assume I'll just take my backpack off here and have a little look inside the cabin. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Welcome to stay, one night only. Water tap is on the fence. Oh, we got a Wi-Fi password. Okay. Oh yes, team, we've got Wi-Fi. <laughs> So it's saying goodbye to this fabulous little cabin, which is super cute. Trail Angel, uh, so donated like $10. Goodbye cabin. 7K of road walking until we get to the beach. Then we've got about 12 kilometer beach walk and then more road. Cat, who I stayed with last night in the little cabin, she set off a little bit earlier than me, so hopefully we'll be able to catch up with her. One of the issues on these sort of newer gravel roads is that when cars are coming along pretty quickly, the amount of dust coming up is huge. Two, one. <laughs> Why are you driving so f***ing close? See the sign. Thomas is a beach walking folks. So where is going to be the best place to cross? Not here, because that's at the widest. Probably, I think I'll probably head up close to the sand dunes. I think this looks pretty good. God, that looks quite deep actually. That does look deep here, can you see? Let's go for it. Oh. 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 Oh, well, it's going to be a bit more dramatic than that, team. It went up like, it went up about halfway up my lower leg, halfway up my calf. I was expecting more drama. That is the next section of beach walk, all the way to the very end. 12 o'clock, 12 kilometers done, 10 to go. 12.30, 14 and a half K in. Still a long way to go. Stream crossing number two. This could be a little bit deeper. Not too bad at all. Now there is actually an alert on the TA app. There are some very, very rare birds apparently in this vicinity. So they don't want us crossing on this side, which is absolutely fine. This is the top map, which they basically said is incorrect. But the bottom map, which is the new map, is exactly the same as the top map. Cross here and then go down the other side. Touch wood, it still doesn't seem that bad? Oh, it's not too bad. I've come to another stream and that looks a hell of a lot deeper. So I'm going to go back this way and then walk around the edge there. Maybe that's what they wanted us to do in the first place and I just didn't follow instructions correctly. That's where I'm heading, the valley road, 4.5 kilometers. But it's saying it's a three or four hour walk, which I wasn't quite expecting. I was thinking do a little bit faster than that because I've still got then a following another one 5K after that to go. I'm starting to see why it might take three or four hours. Oh, 
I'm gonna stop and have some food. It's five o'clock. What a combination. Nutella and peanut butter on a wrap. Protein, chocolate and carbs. Uh, I'm trying to do this safely and this is just an utter, oh God. Oh, where to put the feet? Probably right in the mud. Oh, gross. Nope, don't wanna go there. Don't wanna go here either. This isn't about getting my, my feet muddy because I don't really care about that. It's more about, because I just don't wanna slip and go and hurt myself. Probably didn't really get that on camera. Gives you a, a, an idea of what it's been like. <laughs> No wonder it's taken three or four hours. Some trail magic. They're normally empty and full of rubbish. Just my previous experiences. <laughs> Amazing. Give me a Coke. Thank you so much. Mm. Hello, caffeine. 6.49, 29.7 kilometers in. 5K to go. Oh, this is amazing. I'm getting a sugar high and a caffeine hit. We made it here, which is pretty damn epic. 30 kilometers in, 3K up this gravel road. There should be some free camping with a compost toilet and some water available. Once at the steps from the Gove and Wilson Road, follow the clay four wheel drive track, which I assume this is what we're on. It passes a private home, which is just over there. The entrance gate is on the right, a little further down to road past the old boat. That's an old boat. There are some fellow hikers. I can see a few tents. 